Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the lead call question number 35. Search in sort position. Basically, given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value, return the index if the target is found. If not, return the index where it would be if it weren't sorted in order. Here are some examples, guys. Imagine that this is our input array and the target is 5. The output should be 2 because the target basically appears at the index 2. So 0, 1, 2. So it's here, it's presented inside the array, we just return the index of it. Here's another example. Target is equal to 2. However, target is not presented in this input array, but because we need to return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order, and because you know it's a sorted array, it would be like here between 1 and 3. So it would be at index 1. And in this case, we just need to return this index. Another example, target is 7. Okay, 7 is not presented, but 7 should be like after 6, so we return 4. Another example, target is equal to 0. 0 is not here, but 0 would go at index 0, so before 1, because the array is sorted. And the last example, Okay, target is 0, we have one value inside the array and it's not 0. We return index 0 because this 0 would go before 1 because 0 is less than 1. This is basically what we need to do, guys. Of course, like you can apply like the brute force solution. It's like a very easy problem to solve it like with the brute force. You just like iterate through the whole array. If you see that like the current integer is like equal to the target, you return it. Or like if the current integer like became greater than the target, you just like return straight away and yeah simply as that however it's like it will be like the linear approach so in a worst case like if i don't know the input array would have like uh, let's say like 10,000 uh, integers you would like in the worst case you would need to iterate through the whole like 10,000 integers and of course it's like not efficient and if you like give the solution on the interview um i'm sorry but you will not get an offer probably the answer is to use the binary search so, because the array is sorted, we need to use the advantage of the sorted array, and we can apply the, we can implement the binary search algorithm. Let me just quickly write the code, and I will show you how to implement it, how to apply it, and yeah, we'll go through it with you in a few seconds, and we'll explain you everything. Just stay with me, guys. Okay, guys, so binary search, right? For, for binary search, you'll need like two pointers. Pointer L, which stands like for the left, so to point to the left side of the array, and R, which stands for the right, to point to the right side of the array. And like initially, okay, L is equal to zero, so the beginning of the array, R is equal to nums.length minus one, which is like the last value in the array. Then we have a while loop, while L, is less or equal than r. In this case, we will perform some operations. Actually, let me go through the code and at the same time, let's just consider one example. Okay, imagine that this is our input array, so six elements from one to six, and the target is six. So we are going inside the while loop. Yes, left is less or equal than right. That's, it works. We'll calculate the mid index. And mid index is equal to left plus right divided by 2, 0 plus 5 divided by 2. Java will give us 2 in this case. So the mid index will be equal to 2. That's the element here, element which is equal to 3. We check if this element, the mid element, is equal to the target, 3 is not equal to the 6. So, okay, this if condition doesn't apply. Let's check another one. Else if like the mid element, so 3, is greater than the target. 3 is not greater than the target, okay, this else if doesn't apply, which means that like the mid element is less than the target. And if it is, we know, okay, if this element is less than the target, and because the array is sorted, we definitely know that like the rest of the array on the left side, the target just cannot be there, because all the elements on the left side will be less than the, the current mid element, so it definitely less than the target as well. It means that we can just update the pointer of uh, the left pointer and just like don't consider these elements at all. 
and also because we know that the current mid element is OS than the target, it means that there's no point to consider the current mid element as well. So we can just say that like the left pointer is equal to mid, mid index plus one. So the left pointer will point to the value here now. Cool. Next iteration of the for loop, right? Of the while loop, right? We will calculate the new mid index. Right now, L is equal to three, right? So index three. Three plus five, because we didn't change the right pointer. So three plus five is eight. Eight divided by two is equal to four. So we'll consider the element at index four, which is like the element which is equal to five. Okay, we check if five is equal to target. No, five is not equal to target. Okay, next condition. If five is greater than the target, five is not greater than the target. So we will go inside the else statement, right? And we'll update our left pointer because, you know, it will mean that there's no point to consider the left side of the array because it will be like less than the current mid element. So we can just say that like left is equal to mid index plus one. And it will mean that left will be equal to the right because they will point like to the same element, so to this element. Next iteration of the while loop, left is like equal to the right. This condition applies, we will go inside the while loop. Okay, we'll calculate the mid index. The values are the same, so L and R are the same. Five plus five divided by two is equal to five. So we'll point at the element here. And yeah, we just basically check if this like current element and the mid index is the same as target and oh they're the same we can just return straight away and we'll return like the index 5 so it will be the element here however guys if this element i don't know would be equal to 7 let's say right in this case this condition would not apply then like we will check like okay if the current element so 7 is greater than the target seven would be greater than the target and we would update the value r but it would not really matter because after that we will go outside this while loop and would we'll return like the left pointer um, because we need to basically return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order in case like if we didn't find this like particular integer inside the array so and in this case we would insert like the target which is equal to six at index between 5 and 7 and it would be like the index 5 our left pointer is like pointing at the right index so in the end if it didn't return it here it would return like the left pointer and it would be like the result simply as that guys binary storage time complexity is log n which is quite good let me run the code guys perfect it works let me submit Perfect guys, zero milliseconds, 100%, simply as that guys. Yeah, challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question efficiently or not. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please guys give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video guys, good luck and take care.